and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi. If you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribe, stay a while. It's a fun time. I'm actually filming this intro much later when the rest of this vlog is filmed. We are back home now from the hurricane evacuation. You will see more in this vlog, obviously, but I just want to say first and foremost, thank you so much for all of your sweet messages. It has been so sweet to see you guys check up on us. We are safe. We are so fortunate, but this hurricane was a doozy and it was our first hurricane in Florida. So I wanted to vlog, honestly, like I just started picking up the camera and vlogging random things as like hurricane prep. And then it turned into this like whole long vlog, possibly two part vlog. We'll see as I'm editing this, but I hope you guys enjoy and thank you for all of your support as always. It means so, so much to me. So we love you guys and enjoy the vlog. Hello. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna throw this in a vlog coming soon, but I wanted to film it now. We just went to Walmart. We're gonna call this hurricane prep. Really, it was just really? grocery shopping. <laughs> grocery haul, hurricane haul. Um, so the only water they had was at Publix this morning. $24 essential waters. Essential. Essentia. Oh, um, there's no. Yeah, no. Essentia. Waters. So we got those. This is not sponsored by Essentia or Essentia affiliates. <laughs> All thoughts and opinions are of our own. Rita's food. Rita, extra Rita food. We didn't get Lola's food. Walmart didn't have it. But honestly, if Lola gets hungry, she'll eat this too. <laughs> No, we'll probably, I'll, I can order her food because I need to order their flea meds on Chewy, so I just should make an account and do it all at the same time. Next, we have fall cookies. No, do not open them yet. No. French vanilla creamer. French vanilla. We needed sugar. We have no sugar, so we, we got some sugar. Everything in the wrong order. Look at how much space they just opened up. And then jasmine rice. John's been loving the fat rice. Oh, for can, I, can I tell you what I did yesterday? No. For uh, lunch, I made um, top sirloin, like thin cut top sirloin strips with uh, peppers and onions uh, cooked on the grill. And then I did jasmine rice and I did, um, I cut up pineapple, mm -hmm. threw it pineapple in the pot when it all boiled and it cooked into the rice, nice. the rice was amazing. Nice. Baked beans. Baked beans. Sweet corn cream style. And ranch. Walmart was a madhouse. We picked the wrong time to do our grocery shopping. The only hurricane prep thing we got was like a couple of non-perishable items in case we need them and water. The rest was just like groceries. But yeah, it was crazy. Then we got green peppers, yellow onions, and green onions, so like scallions. Then Starbucks pumpkin spice coffee. I'm running out of counter space. And then Sean wanted to try this Black Rifle Five Alarm coffee. It's got a firefighter on it. It's got a fireman on it. I'll put those away in a second because I'm going to put them in the coffee container. Frozen oh. mac and cheese. Oh, right here. Over here. Unicorn mac and cheese. Just so uh, it's like, keep some fresh in the freezer. Pesto noodles. Pesto. Oh, dude, you are stressing me out. I'll put those away. Ramen. Sean told me I needed things that were non perishable, so I went back to my roots. She's over here getting like freaking lean cuisine meals. <laughs> oh, we got toilet paper. Ultra strong. Litter. Litter. Pea pads. Bread. Literally half our grocery bill was the pets. for the pets. And espresso. The essentials. And I think that that's everything. So now we're gonna go put all of this away. I hope you enjoyed our Hurricane Prep grocery haul, AKA our weekly grocery haul. The expensive one. <laughs> no, actually Rita's was more. Well, yeah, because we didn't get her food, but yeah. her pee pads are still super expensive. It's just, in case, like, the weather's, like, horrible outside, she will not go outside, so we needed pee pads. Dude, she won't even, like, like... She's prissy. She will, we'll open the door and she'll literally, like... <laughs> I'm not going out in that. Yeah. <laughs> so we needed to get her pee pads, so... 
that's everything. Thanks for joining. I'm gonna go lay outside now because it's it hot. might be the last nice day. Once Hurricane, what's it called, Ian? Ian. Once Hurricane Ian hits. All right, another random clip in my little weekend prepping for the hurricane vlog. Um, I'm wearing this little green and white outfit. We're doing a little casual walk downtown for a drink. Oh, why didn't you tell me my hair looked like this? You're all fine in the summer ice cream. Mine's black raspberry with dark chocolate and you got elephant ear. It's like caramel and yeah. chocolate. Caramel peanut butter cups. Stuff like that. Okay. Eating some Trader Joe's wontons with some teriyaki and coconut aminos. I'm going to edit here in a minute and I'm watching Gilmore Girls, but... Boo. Sitting in your room, working on my first record. Skip to the present, and I still haven't released it. But it's in okay because the new songs are way better. That's what it feels like. Just finished my workout. I am so sweaty and disgusting, and I have so many updates for you guys about the hurricane. Um, hi, it's Monday. I'm just continuing this vlog all in one instead of doing a normal week in my life, but I need to get gas, gas up my car, because that is something you do before a big storm, or so I'm told. And I might hop inside and get a snack inside the gas station because I'm absolutely starving. <sighs> all right, I'm all showered and clean. I just ate a PB&J and cleaned up the kitchen a little bit did the dishes and now let's chat. So I have a lot of updates. Um, work is closed. Everything in Naples, Fort Myers area, as far as schools work, everything is closed. Um, I am, our work is closed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So it's Monday today. So as of right now, I go back to work on Friday and I guess, this is gonna be worse than we all thought. Sean's at work right now um, for his normal shift and they're in a Zoom conference about the storm. And I just don't know the right thing to do. Like I am very lucky in that Gabby, my sister lives two hours east on the East Coast and it looks like the East Coast of Florida is getting like way less of the storm than the West Coast of Florida where I am. But I, and I could go there, but I have both pets and it's just a lot to drive in probably bad weather with both pets, stay a couple days in somewhere that isn't our home. And I mean, I really do think that our apartment is safe. It has hurricane windows and doors. Um, it's a concrete building, it's high up. We're a little, like we're inland, we're not right on the coast. So it's like, I don't know. I'm just like trying to weigh my options and figure out the best thing. Um, I'm nervous about the new house also because the house that we're under contract for and potentially buying because that house as of right now does not have hurricane windows and all of that. So I really hope they're taking the precautions, the current owners in 
keeping that safe. Rita, excuse me. Of course, they're like losing their minds right now when I'm trying to film this clip, but first hurricane for us here, obviously, and while it's exciting that, you know, I don't have to go to work the next three days, it's a little nerve wracking. I'm charging my portable chargers right now just in case we lose power. Um, I'm really stressed about having to throw away everything in the fridge and freezer if we lose power, so let's cross our fingers that we don't. But, I don't know, I'm like torn. I Personally, I would be more comfortable staying here with the pets even if Sean does get called into work and it's just me. Just because this is our home, you know, they're comfortable here, I'm comfortable here. We have everything we need. We might go to the grocery store tomorrow and get a couple more like canned foods and like non-perishables, things like that. Uh, parts of Tampa, as I am recording this right now, I think are evacuating as we speak. We haven't gotten any evacuation orders yet. Um, I'm gonna like look up some updates while I'm filming this with you guys. So, live updates 20 minutes ago. Okay, so it's officially Hurricane Ian. It's no longer a tropical storm. It's a category two right now. Um, this says residents need to heed evacuation warning, but I don't think we've been told. I think that that's, yeah, so St. Pete Hospital suspends all services and transfers patients. Um, I'm like trying to find, okay, here we go. Lee County declared states of emergency. That is me. Sanibel declared a, state of, declared a state of emergency, which Sanibel is like an island kind of off the coast of Fort Myers, um, but Lee County also declared a state of emergency. They will decide Tuesday morning whether a mandatory evacuation will be issued for Lee County. So I guess stay tuned for tomorrow morning. If there's a mandatory evacuation, I will be taking the pets and either going to my sister's or my grandma's condo. There's nobody there right now, but there's also not food or anything there. So maybe I'll go to my sister's. I could take them and go to like a hotel, but one, that's a lot of money. And two, then I'd be really alone where at least if I'm at my sister's house, I don't know, I can figure it out, <laughs> but stay tuned on that. I really did not expect it to like be this crazy to be completely honest. Um, it's showing that it's ex so it's expected to hit Cuba tomorrow morning, which it could hit Cuba and like totally change its mind of where it's going. But it looks like it might hit Cuba and like greatly like ramp up. Um, storm surge warnings, five to ten feet of surge possible around like Tampa Bay. I don't actually understand what a storm surge is. I've done some research and it kind of just seems like basically like a giant flood is the vibe that I'm getting from that. Clearwater International Airport closes starting tomorrow. So just like a lot of updates and I'm just like continuously refreshing to see the path of the storm and things like that. Um, Sean is just saying, depending on what's happening with the time frame, he might drive with me and the pets to my sister. So we might be evacuating. Sean is going to be on the front lines at work as a firefighter, so I'm just like a little anxious. I didn't expect this. I was expecting, you know, like when you hear hurricane days off, like a lot of times it's like, I don't know, like a little, it's like snow days kind of. Like that's what I was thinking is like, like a fun day off, three days off, but I guess the storm is worse than what we originally anticipated, so... I'm going to vlog this for memories, but also because it's my first hurricane and if you don't live in Florida, welcome. This is going to be a journey that we're all on together, but I'm about to call my mom and sister and sort of figure things out. So I'm going to stop vlogging for a second, but I'll check back in with you guys in a minute. Okay. I have, it's 9.45 now. I've spent many hours on the phone with Sean, my family, a bunch of other people just trying to figure this whole storm thing out. I will have more updates tomorrow, but there is a chance that the pets and I head over to Gabby's house in Miami. So we will see. Sean gets off of work in the morning and then we're gonna kind of formulate more of a plan. But yeah, did not expect this turn of events. I knew that we would get some of the storm. I didn't think it would hit directly here. Our main concern is like the power being out for multiple days at a time, the flooding, 
um, things like that. So I know it's the right thing to do. I'm just like bummed because, you know, as much as I am excited to see Gabby and like spend sister time with our pets and whatnot, it just is stressful to pack up two pets and go. But I'm grateful that I have that option and that she lives two hours away and that somehow the storm is missing, for the most part, missing Miami. Um, they'll be raining and flooding, but not as bad. So I'm gonna go to bed, try to relax, and I'll talk to you guys with more updates tomorrow. Good morning vlog. It is Tuesday morning. We are now in the, I'll put the graphic right here. We are now in the purple zone in Fort Myers, meaning hurricane warning. So like it's definitely coming or so they think, and it's gonna be pretty bad. So we've made the decision to pack up and take both of our crazy pets over to Gabby's house, my sister in Miami. So currently I am packing just like a couple sweats. I we're obviously not like going anywhere or doing anything so it's just comfy clothes but I've got all of my electronics portable chargers things like that meds all in here I just have to add my retainers to that then I've got pajamas comfy clothes sweats all of that so I'm gonna put that in here right now maybe I can open it up So we've moved the couch over, the pets are freaking out, so that we could make room for all of the stuff on the balcony to come inside. So Sean's cleaning it off and bringing it in right now. We've, keyword we've moved everything. I just said so that we can and I said you are. Not the time to argue semantics. I'm, I'm messing with you. Yeah, okay. Look at these two. They are like, what the heck is happening? I've got our bags packed, ready to go. We're gonna stop at the storage unit and unload my trunk of beach stuff so that we have room to fill it with everything we need to bring. But let's do a weather check. There's some boats anchored just in the middle of the water. All of the boats down in this dock are gone. It's kind of spooky. Do you need help? I think about just laying this down, just laying it right there. Are you just videotaping me? There's two important, there's two roles when there's important life things. One, behind the camera, and the other person actually doing stuff. It just so happens that I'm usually behind the camera. You think, you think it's gonna be safe like that? Yeah. It was like $40. I don't care. I don't want it flying off and damaging something or hitting the window and damaging it. These are hurricane glass windows. Okay. If you say so. The, and the other neighbors, they did the same thing. Okay. The bamboo. Come here. Morgan did? Oh, they did move all the stuff off the pool See? already. The bamboo. All right. Oh, look at that. Let's walk. This is how we're gonna walk to the car. <laughs> okay, we are all packed up in the car, much to Rita's dismay, and we are in the Dunkin' drive through We got six orders of hash browns because we're psychopaths, and I got a pumpkin iced latte. Rita is so stressed, I feel so sad. This one just thinks we're going on a trip, but she was losing her mind up in the apartment. So the apartment is all locked up, secure, everything hopefully is gonna be all right. And we are headed to Miami. It says we'll get there probably around 1.30. Do you have anything to add to the vlog? No. We're gonna listen to true crime podcasts. Sean has chest pains. Just stressed. I was stressed last night. I'm less stressed now just because it is what it is, but. Good thing we, I told you, planned for this because if, if we hadn't planned for it, then you yeah. would have been really stressed today being like, oh, you gotta leave. Um, we just got mandatory evacuated based on where we live, so it's a good thing we were planning on going anyways. Mandatory evacuated. It's mandatory evacuated, but people are staying, so I don't know how that works, really. Um, 
we're probably missing the podcast. I started a true crime podcast and then turned it down to vlog, but we're about to move up in the Dunkin' drive through so we'll keep you guys updated on our drive. Rita has a leash on for the first time ever, and she is n <laughs> she's not the best walker. Look where we are. At Gabby's cute fall decorated house. He's got like a pastry. Thing. So cute. Well, I have a roll of cinnamon rolls in here. Well, you know those Publix little dishes, like the three, three cheese. We've got right? all the pets. A thing of croissants and eggs. And it is chaotic. Get that. At, send me a text, add it to the list. We've got this room for all of our stuff. Yeah, Rita is not sure. Cloud is freaking out. Lola just wants to be around us, and Sean is about to fall over of exhaustion. Hey, enough! But Gabby's no fall one. decorations are so cute. Right? I just did, did you not decorate yet? No. Do we're probably not going to because we're going to move, and all of our stuff's in storage, so it's like. Yeah, but like so cute. I need more. So we're going to go to Target another day. Okay. Like not today. But Rita's hiding have from this one. Spaces to decorate this. Yeah, no. Let her eat because he'll eat her food. Um, yeah, but then they both have diarrhea and we're eating it. Yes. <laughs> we're making a grocery list and trying to figure out. I brought my HelloFresh here. So we're trying to figure out what we need. You need to relax, sir. I just lit off the Malibu for the next four hours. No, please drink that. Mom got this alcohol down here and then never drank it. All right. To the grocery store. I am stressed and just want to hole up and okay. watch TV. You like these, right, Lex? Like? What? Oh, blue moons? Um, someone will drink them. I mean, I don't plan on drinking, but they left them at our place. Too. You should. We don't, we don't drink them, so drink up. Glad we got out before it got really bad, but we need to put on the news and see how it is at home. What else do we need besides croissants and We're gonna make of water? Breakfast foods, we're gonna make chicken tortellini soup, we're gonna get we're water. Gonna get Sean's gonna make kebabs, kebabs tonight for Din Din. You, have, you don't really have a grill. No, oven. Okay, so maybe we should rethink dinner. I don't plans. have skewers either, so just, I'll just, do a cheap pan. I, mean, I just cook it in a skillet, and it's the same thing as a freaking kebabs. And okay. it's sauteed veggies and steak. We got to do chicken if you want. Honestly, I'd rather have steak if you cook it raw, rare you than want hibachi, chicken. I can make no, I told rice. you 15 times I don't want that kind of food. Ugh, they're killing me. I'm done. I'm done. All right, we're back from the store. My hair is not cooperating. We're gonna find something to watch. Um, Sean's making dinner. He's making stuffed peppers. He found a recipe, so he's gonna make that. The dogs are dogging. And Gabby and I are going to try to find... No, nope, I just felt something sticky. The syrup's on him somewhere. <laughs> Sean just drank syrup from the bottle. Maple syrup. What the f syrup? F is your cutting board, Gabby? Under the <laughs> what is this kitchen? Wait, it might be... Is it under the island? It might be in the dishwasher. Yeah, there ain't no freaking cutting board in here. Gabby Thank lit you. a candle and it smells so good in here and it's so there fall and it's... Good. It's under the dishwasher. island. It's under the island. Is the big... Do you need a big one? Yes. The big black one is under, I don't know, Justin reorganized all that, so it's under everything. Hurricane crowd, all right, I'm gonna let them find their stuff and we're gonna watch a movie. Where is it? Okay, Sean made stuffed peppers and garlic bread and I'm so excited. We're gonna watch Harry Potter and eat dinner. Thanks, Sean. The Path of the Storm just um, took a turn. And it's now mainly hitting Fort Myers head on. So it's a good thing we're gone, but I hope everybody is staying safe. And I'll keep you guys updated as we know more. what you missing, bro. It's hotter. Sean's doing his duties and oh, bringing yes. stuff inside. We're playing Code Names. I, those out there. I got this for Gabby this past Christmas, and we've never played it, so I'm very excited. I would vlog outside right now. What's the update in Miami? What's the four? It's windy. One? You can't really tell because it's so dark. The trees. Yeah. Windy. Can. Gabby's whole garbage can blew away. Gabby's whole garbage can blew away in the wind. The plant was levitating, Sean said. So they're going to figure that out right now. We all really want. I hope my car's okay. We all really want ice cream and we forgot it at the store earlier. We went to Publix and now it's too late. I don't know if I should be helping. Oh, 
They found it. It blew down the stairs. Is it like bad out? Is it's it just bad in that hallway because it's like. Because it just like. Do you think yeah. my car's okay? Yeah. Your car's okay. If your car gets stolen, you get a new car. Oh my god, my insurance will go up so much. No, it won't. Yeah, it will. No. How descriptive can I get? You can. You get one word. Oh, one word. Yeah. This is gonna be more moldable. So, now, well, it was sitting in the fridge, so maybe if you let it sit for a minute, but actually that might be better. Sean is making, trying to make chocolate chip cookie bowls, or plates, kind of. And we're gonna put ice cream and fudge on the inside for dessert. Gibby's over here. We played a couple rounds of code names, it was fun. Okay, we're gonna do rapid fire questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, see, you is split up into two. So part one's February 10th, part two's March 10th. Oh, it's right. not coming out until February and March. It's season four? Part one and two? Yeah, I can't believe I'm like, I get that love wasn't in season one. So like, I guess in their eyes it was like okay to, I was gonna say spoiler, but like it was out forever. It was okay to like kill her I'm off. hoping she's not dead. But I don't know right. how, but. Okay, rapid one fire questions. Thing about me. So. Favorite smell? Thanksgiving dinner. Favorite sound? Well, okay, if you're going like scent that you can like purchase, mahogany teakwood. Favorite sound? Waves crashing in. Um, you can only eat one meal tomorrow, breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Uh, depends on my mood, but I would say like either a really good like chicken pasta or hibachi, probably. So lunch or dinner? The question was breakfast, lunch, or oh, dinner. I thought you said like you'd only eat one meal like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No. Oh. Um, lunch. Okay. Um, you can have any non-traditional pet as a pet. What animal would you want? Like, if it existed, like a little small hippo. Okay, well that doesn't <laughs> exist. How about a real animal? Clouds um, over here like... A giraffe would be kind of cool. I don't know where it'd fit, but I feel like that'd be fun. Um, okay. A really small hippo. <laughs> Cause think of it, it'd be like the, like the size of a dog, but a hippo. Yeah. It'd be cute. There's a bunch of pigs for sale on Facebook Marketplace for free in Naples. Those get huge. No, they are already huge. Oh, exactly. And they're all in a giant mud pit and they're free on Facebook Marketplace in Naples. You could have got them if you- the meanest animals on the face Hippos? If you've got the- House with the barn. Yeah. Okay, ask me some Alexa, questions. Alexa, set a timer for 13 minutes. Ideal perfect- 13 minutes, starting now. What is your ideal perfect day from wake up to go to sleep? Okay, I wake up with no alarm. Mm -hmm. It is- My favorite date would be April 27th, because you might just need a light jacket. <laughs> you mixed my birthday and the actual movie quote. I think it's April 25th. April 20, well, it's not the My favorite seven, date would be April 27th, <laughs> Gabby's birthday. Okay, favorite day though, okay, so, or ideal day. I would wake up without an alarm. Would you wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy? Yes. <laughs> uh, no. I would wake up feeling like myself, without an alarm, the sun would be shining. I would make a fabulous cup of coffee. A cup of joe. You wouldn't go get it somewhere on an ideal day. I depends. If I'm going, so if I'm spending the ideal, there's two kinds of ideal days: out and about or home. Both. I just I have to be in the mood for one or the other. If I'm staying home, I make a nice coffee. Um, I relax on the couch and watch either YouTube or whatever show I'm watching. And then I take Lola for a nice walk, and then I go to the pool and read my book. If I'm out and about, oh well then. Yeah, if I'm out and about, then I go to the beach or just something outside, do something fun outside, and then come home, make a nice dinner or go out to dinner. Either one is acceptable. Either way, a good dinner. End the night with ice cream and watch my show in bed and nice. go to sleep at a reasonable time. Delightful. Yes, that is delightful. This is giving me Vibes of March 2020 when we were here and the world shut down and there was nothing to do And so. we were just in the house like trying to be fun We made 
lots, lots of, TikToks. of TikToks. We should honestly, it would be a good business move if we did that again. <laughs> it's just, ah, TikTok's like a different era. Like, it's just not. I don't, everything not I post. It with dances. It's everything not, I post flops, so. That too. Um, we should record what? a couple podcasts while we're here. I'm the baddest alive. Sean's dancing. By the I just kid. made up that dance. I know. I can tell. I don't think it was choreographed. Final tic tac dance. Tic tac, tic tac toe, and round I go. And if I miss, go ahead and show the people. One thing about me. Absolutely not. Oh my gosh. Well, we'll never know. Boring. Follow me on Instagram, and you guys would have seen his dancing. <coughs> Choking on my own spit. All right. Say bye, vlog. Bye, vlog. An eight-year-old overdose. Me and me and Giselle.